I've actually given a lot of thought to the uh, issue of the Nobel Prize just because it's been written about and because, frankly, he did think about it. He did talk about it. Um, he would have been thrilled to have gotten it. But I personally think that his career in an, in an important way transcended prizes. You know, there are a bunch of prizes in, in this room and plaques and, and medals. But the contribution of Judah Folkman was in the science and it was in the medicine. And it is measured to me by the number of patients who live longer from cancer, who see better from uh, diseases that threaten vision, uh, and from people who have pain from inflammatory disease that may be treated eventually with the angiogenesis inhibitors. It's in the people that he trained uh, who've gone out and um, you know spread his, his vision and his way of working uh, to so many different institutions. And there are people who are chairs of departments and chiefs of pediatric surgery. Um, and I sometimes go around the laboratory and name a Nobel laureate and ask the students and the fellows if they know who that was. They often don't. All right? And I often think about Jonas Salk, who, who made the first polio vaccine and essentially helped to eradicate a disease as a research institute in San Diego named after him and was known by the world over. You know, I think at the time when he was doing that, it was probably Muhammad Ali and Jonas Salk were the most famous people in the world. Never won the Nobel Prize, but affected so many lives. And I think of Dr. Folkman's contribution in that way. People will live longer with their tumors than they would have without angiogenesis inhibition. And people will see better with eye disease than they would have without angiogenesis inhibition. And researchers are working in a field called angiogenesis, which essentially didn't exist before Judah Folkman started his work. So for me, any tangible prize or award is really trivial compared to what he accomplished and what his legacy will be.